it is windy a little bit cold not as cold as it looks as i'm dressed up but we're getting ready to make a little run as you can see i just pulled out from here and to kind of give you a little bit of method to my madness uh, i haven't fished this end of the lake in some time the wind is coming from this direction so i'm going to go into the wind to that rock wall or big area get that wind to not be on me as bad and i'm just going to start looking for fish so let's see what happens coming around that there so when we were back there it felt like the wind was right in our face but we were wrong the wind's coming right down this chute one good way that you can find that is you can check um, windy.com and it'll give it to you but we're gonna go ahead and fish right here and see if we can't come up with something water's a little murky but we'll see what happens get some live scope footage here in just a minute I just want to see what the rest of this tree here looks like so as you can see right here let me see here all right so there's just a tree sitting right down here I wonder if we went over it Gives you a little bit more. There was one bigger fish sitting right on it. So, see, I feel like all those there are pretty little, but the big one was sitting kind of like right in there on top. So we might catch one more off of this tree and, uh, and then go see if we can't find a little bit better fish. Don't be afraid to move. A lot of times we stay too long in one place and you can do a whole lot better if you just keep moving. So yeah, I think that's what most of it is, just these little runs here. So as you can see, what we're fishing here is just this like bluff here. And it drops off into 30, 40 foot of water. It's not a big secret of where we're at, given the dam and the marina there. But, uh, and which I, I don't care. You know, these fish, they're all the time moving. They're not always gonna be on the same spot. But we're gonna try to, uh, what I did not see here was a lot of fish suspended out. Um, and that's kind of what I expect to find today. I, you know, we may find them on structure, but it's not necessarily what I'm expecting to find. So we're going to go, uh, try to get out of the wind a little bit and see if we can't find some more fish. Go. All right. So we're at stop number two and we're going to set up our camera for some live scope footage. And that's the big thing is just not being afraid to move you know a lot of times you find fish and you're like oh no i finally found fish i'm scared you know i can't go somewhere else where there's not fish the thing is is new water these fish haven't been boogered with gives you new opportunities 
Oh, no memory card. So we got to put a memory card in there. So don't don't be afraid to move. There's nothing. And you can always come back to this, you know, where you had them later. A lot of times I'll fish 20 spots. I mean, sometimes I have I have got my whole limit off of one spot, and I have fished 20 different spots to get a limit. It all depends on what you're setting out to do. Like that little rock pile right there. Formed up with some sticks. It'd be a good place to catch you. A little bass. And that's part of it. You find the bait, you're going to find the fish. I mean, we've gotten in just, I mean, we're right here. Again, so there's probably even a little current effect because the wind is just blowing down that chute and we're just right here next to it. See, that was just hanging out right under the bait. Deeper. Chicken. And see, no, no cover, no structure, just under the bait. Now we're, now we're ready. <laughs> see if we can't get a couple live scope shots here. That was a good one. That one I'm gonna get on live scope. Look at the look at the bass that you can play there. Got him. Got him. Any bass? Oh, white bass. That was cool. That was stinking cool. Look at there. Had her camera all turned around. We'll stick him in there too. You know what? We ain't gonna be prejudiced today. That ain't a bad little fish. That's over two pounds. Two thirteen. See us. All right. Let's get her. And I probably could have boat flipped it, but I'll just be honest with you. I'm lazy. I've got several knots in my leader, and I have not retied this pole in three weeks. So, and honestly, I have a mess.
wind is just swirling. that was going to be a little larger now, but it's just a white bass. But you could see it was it was chomping on that food. You always want to be somewhere where the food's at. Fish like to eat. Look at all that bait. A ton of bait. We're right back up there after. We are looking. Another good keeper. So we are just in this small area here. It's, and I'll show you. I mean, you see the wind just whipping out through there. And like I said, I don't know that I've ever crappie fished here, but we've got this this bank here. It's kind of protected. It's still a steep bank, but we found all this bait that's down here in this water. And we are, and the fish, they're just out here feeding. So we're just getting a bait in front of them and letting them eat it. So let's see what else we can do. Not very big. We did that just to show you. There's a lot of crappie out here, and we're not targeting all of them because some of them aren't what we want. So we're just trying to target keeper sized fish. Keeper.
close encounter with some larger fish. Oh, that aggravates me. That hurts my heart. That was a pretty decent fish. A lot of sadness in the world. A lot of sadness. Go for it. Look at there. And he absolutely choked it. Look at that. Ah, quick. That's a good, nice big black crappie. Did you see how far we floated with that joker? A good one. And a lot of times that's how those black crappie will do. They'll take forever to commit to it. Just as you saw there. Got just one or two more. Ease on back in here. Look at there. That's just hanging out right there on the bottom. Not a bad little fish at all. Not a bad little fish at all. See, it's one of the reasons why I like standing up, especially whenever I'm tournament fishing. Uh, it's very nice to be sitting down and relaxing, kind of going through, but if I was in a tournament and I would have needed this fish on that particular thing, I didn't see it till very late in the drop. It was way down there. So what I had to be able to do was I backed right up to the trolling motor and got my bait right down there on it. That's just another good fish. He was just hanging out right there on the bottom. I think it gets us to seven. Go 
it right across the bottom. Well, that one ain't as good. But guess what? When you're eating them, it don't matter. That one come off 16 feet off the bottom. Yesterday I was catching them like in six feet. Let's get to 10 and then let's just stop and we'll do something else. Maybe we'll go a bass fish. I tell you, it's kind of hard to quit whenever you're having so much success. I mean, it just, like, right there is where we put in. We made a little run over there, caught a decent fish, but it just wasn't optimal. So on a windy day, we're talking like 15 mile per hour winds. And we found ourselves in a little eddy with plenty of bait and we're catching fish. And honestly, that was a consolation fish because I was looking at a bigger one and he just happened to be there. So I thought, well, we'll catch him while we're here. Chunky one. 